Well, interestingly, according to this article that was published on the Nature International Weekly Journal of Science website, pigeons may actually be hearing magnetic fields. Now, this article was published last year on the 26th of April 2012, but I still find the information very relevant, and especially when we're trying to understand why these birds may be affected by the interaction between our sun and planet, because this is what I believe is happening when we see these really unusual events where birds are falling out of the sky, or we see them showing up in Florida when they're actually Arctic animals and they should be flying to other areas thousands of miles away. And this is because, unfortunately, they are following these magnetic fields that, that are being interrupted by the interaction between our sun and our planet. So the article goes on to say that individual neurons in the bird's brains can relay crucial information about the Earth's magnetic field possibly providing the animals with an internal GPS, according to research into magnetoreception. Pigeons' remarkable navigational feats have long been pegged to the bird's ability to sense magnetic fields. But pinning down how they do so has frustrated scientists for years. Work published today in Science shows that individual cells seem to encode information on a magnetic field's direction, intensity and polarity. The work also suggests that these signals come from a part of the inner ear called the lagina, further complicating matters for researchers in the field. Until recently, the two best candidate sites for the location of birds' magnetic sensors were the eyes and the beak. There is good evidence for a form of magnetic compass in the eye that uses a mechanism linked to light. And many believe that iron deposits found in the beak were also functioning as magnetic sensors. But last year, at the College of Medicine in Houston, Texas, it was reported that bird magnetoreception seemed to be linked to the Lagina, resurrecting suggestions from earlier research that had generally fallen by the wayside. For their latest research, the subject of today's science paper Wu and Dickman restrained seven horn homing pigeons uh, and placed them in a dark room. A magnetic field was created to cancel the Earth's field, and the researchers then monitored the bird's brain activity while creating a rotating, carefully controlled, artificial magnetic field around the pigeons. The authors found that vestibular neurons, which are linked to the balance systems in the inner ear, fire differently or differentially in response to alterations in the field's direction, intensity and polarity and that these cells were especially sensitive to the bandwidth that covers Earth's geomagnetic field. Combining information on direction, intensity and polarity could provide more than just a compass heading. It could be used to produce positional and directional information because of the way the Earth's field varies in different locations. It could theoretically be used as a GPS unit. If this work can be independently replicated, it is very important. And they go on to say that it is now vital to do behavioural work to show that the vestibular system is performing magnetoreception, for example, by severing the nerves and then testing the bird's ability to sense magnetic fields. Great. Let's just sever the bird's nerves. Okay, well, I will leave the article there. There's a little bit more to read, not much. But I found it really interesting and, you know, just a topic of interest, an article of interest that I thought that I would share with you all. Okay, well, I will link it underneath as per usual. And, of course, as always, peace out.